Hey guys, Dom Iron, welcome back to another video. Today, we are reviewing the Darth Vader Transformation Lego set. It is um, a 2017 set with a few custom pieces used um, to sort of remake it so I could, you know, get it back in shape. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the minifigures and then we can move on. To the set. So, starting off with Anakin Skywalker, at least that's what the Lego set refers to him as. Okay. So, and on the side, for the actual music reference. So, there is Anakin Skywalker. I'm so sorry, guys, I lost my pointer. So, today we'll be using. Oh boys. This piece. Nah. Nah. Alright. Well. Uh let me just get it nice. Here. There we go. So take a look at his face to start off with. You guys can tell. That Lego went all out with the scarred face for Anakin. It's very, like, fatal. Um, I haven't seen this version of Anakin anywhere else except for this set. So, you can see the nice scarred detail on him. And um, coming around to the, the chest here, um, you can see, like, it is, he's really burnt up and blistered because of all the burns. And you guys can see how much his clothes are ripped in half right there. And... His belt down here is sort of like really messed up. But that's because he was burnt. Um, this side is gray for some reason. And this side is supposed to also be gray. Okay. Well, uh, I can fix that. Might not be the same color, but... Hey, it is. Awesome. There. So, his his hand, his hand there is gray. For some reason, even though Vader's hands are black. And so is his middle hand. So, I mean, I get that it burnt in the lava. And it went from black to, 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 um, to gray. But, like, why is that hand gray? It makes no sense. Anyways, so, now looking at the legs. Oh, my gosh. This is this is kind of frustrating. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but his legs here legit have tissue on them. Okay. But also metal. What? I get that Obi-Wan cut them, like, right there. But what I don't understand is why is it not do molded? Well, this makes no sense. It's, it's, it's cringy. It's like, it's like they didn't even care. So, and now moving on to the back, which is one of the most violent sides. To the back, as you guys can see, his back is very messed up. Ignore that crack right there. I had to use a custom arm that I had to find. So. Um, the tap, the, 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 um, the color of the skin isn't, really, doesn't really match with me. To me, it doesn't suit him. And on the back, you guys can see that there's a nice, nice scar right there. Right there. So, it's pretty violent. So, yeah. Now moving on to the Emperor, which is basically all custom. There he is. At least you thought. So I can't find his, um, hang on. I can't find his top half. If I did, it would be awesome. I find his legs though. 
So, yeah. Um, that's that. Yeah. They're almost identical to the two videos, anyways. So there's his his legs. Um, I didn't give him the proper legs because, anyways, I'm getting I'm getting the uh, figure for Christmas, anyways, by himself. So, um, we'll just be looking at the head right now, sort of, because. Yeah. Um, at the time, I didn't really like Star Wars. So I made the Emperor into the Thinker from, um, the Flash. So the head detail is pretty good for the most part, if you guys can tell the yellow eyes. They finally got his flesh on point. I'll do a Emperor review when I, when I get the Emperor for Christmas. I was lucky enough to let the uh hood cover up most of the sharpie so except for right there and right there so that might annoy some people and so yeah and i his cape isn't correct either i found this cape but it's currently being used right now because i uh i'm sort of preparing for a south turn thing to like sort story so yeah this is uh this is asian um Agent 13's uh, torso with black arm, blue arm, and Nia's from Ninjago's Lego, Lego Ninjago movie pants. So there is the the emperor. So yeah, and we will not be reviewing Lord Vader or Darth Vader until we until I show you guys the Lego set. So yeah. But it's, it's, it's really freaking cool. Okay. So. So. Here is the Darth Vader transformation set. As you guys can see. Um, Anakin's right there. And at the front right here, there is this little lever. A little lever that you can you can spin him. Okay, you can spin him, and basically uh, you're supposed to spin it so fast that your friends don't see, and you're like, "What?" They'll be like, "What? How does this happen?" So you're supposed to spin it really fast. It doesn't quite work. Spin it. it doesn't really work too well. Spin it. Anyways, your friends are supposed to be like, "Hey, look, that's a. It's snowing. Boom. Hey guys, look, it's there. What? How did that happen? Mm -hmm. But obviously your friends are gonna be like, "Wait, I can see Anakin at the back there." So. So there is Vader without his helmet, and this set is really, really cool because, as you guys can see up here, you can pull the mask down, and that's what's so unique about this set. You can pull the mask down, and you can literally put his mask on him using the set. It's, it's so cool. Focus on that. And then you can take it off. And get it back there. And then what you can do is you can push this lever in. And bring him up. So you can legit remake the scene from Revenge of the Sith. With like, you could even have the, the Emperor stand over there where he tells them that... Kill Padme, even though he didn't. She was still alive. So he he lied. Emperor lied. So and there he is. So you'd be like, what? You, you lied. So um, let's do a review of Air, and then we'll wrap this up. So here is the new and updated Darth Vader. This is probably my second favorite Darth Vader. My first favorite is the one from the uh, Lego Death Star set. Because that one has the white face instead of the scarred Anakin face. So, yeah. So, what's unique about this Darth Vader from the others? Well, first of all, pretty sure the other Darth Vaders have back print.
but this Vader... No back print. But, what's so unique about this Darth Vader? Well, first of all, he's got an updated torso, and second, his helmet, like I just showed you guys. You can legit pull his helmet off, and you get to see Scarred Anakin, and you don't even need to pull off his head, because Lego includes Anakin Skywalker, like I told you guys at the beginning. So you don't need to pull off his head, you get two of these guys, so they're pretty rare heads, they're the exact same, they're identical, and you get an extra piece of this little helmet piece, not attached to the head by the way, so. This figure is one of my favorites, it's great detail on the legs and on the torso there, where his breathing device is, it's just, it's just so cool, you can just go. Okay, so yeah, that's it, and now let's move on to the set itself, like, like, you know, what the set does. You've only seen half, partially. So you can remake the scene where Vera goes, no, and this little lever back here, you can push it either way. I like to push it this way, just makes it fall over there when it, when that, that's where the way it went. This way, it makes it fall that way and just doesn't make sense. This droid is missing a few of his arms. Uh, but I have uh, two other tools that are supposed to go on them. I can't find some arm trim. It's just a, uh, a screwdriver and a, uh, a gas thing. You guys have seen it before, right? Yeah. So, that's that's one droid. Going around to this droid where the two lightsabers are that you get in this set. You guys can see Vayers and Emperors, and we get this little droid buddy, where you can just flick this however way you want, that way, which just doesn't make sense at all, because it didn't fall that way in the movie. You know, you want to remake the scene from the movie, right? You want it as um, identical as possible, right? So, you can do it that way. Oh, they're the same. Okay, so this droid is pretty cool. He basically looks like one of those droids that was on Mustafar, that Anakin was standing on, so... Yeah, it comes with a clear piece, so if you have light, then it will look like it's just floating by itself, which I find is, like, really, really cool. Coming around to this droid, this droid is the droid that is still intact. I didn't have to rebuild this guy. So this guy, I found in one of my drawers, and, uh, one of my Lego drawers, by the way, and he's just really cool. He's like a medical guy. He's got a screwdriver. Um, and a wrench. Don't know what he needs that for, but I just put him there because it's the closest that he can get to Vader and screening his stuff, right? I wish this went further down, but it doesn't. So. No falling feature for this guy. Because this guy is custom customized for anywhere you can put him. And you guys can already tell there's a red dot there when the rest are, like, white. Because, like I said, I had to use some custom parts. Red there, silver here. Um, gray there, blue there, and right here, there is supposed to be a just giant long blue uh, connector. But I'm going to show you guys that I did not use that. I couldn't find it for the life of me. So what I used was one of those and one of these. It was so simpler to use. Um... I wasted a lot of time looking for it, so I just, it really works too. So if you guys are trying to rebuild that, then just, just do that, and then your friends won't know. If they see on this side, they'll think, oh yeah, he has all the pieces, duh. You know, so. This also is a displayable uh, set, so you don't have to worry. So, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, I did not miss anything, I don't think, and if I did, let me know in the comments. Um, again, here's the box. Wow, that, that sucked. Here's the box. And...
Go back. I had to use the instructions online, so by the way, you can pull this lever back up to switch them back down. So guys, have an awesome day, and may the force be with you always.